welcome to all i hope uh, you are enjoying my video lectures uh, i am continuously putting uh, video lectures on the on my v- youtube channel to help uh, my students uh, to understand the various topics on uh, uh, chemistry today i will uh, just continue my lecture on uh, mass spectro- uh, spectrometry in the part 1 and part 2 i have uh, covered uh, the basics of uh, mass spectrum uh, and uh, various uh, uh, topics in uh, mass spectrum like uh, uh, the molecular and peak base peak uh, isotope peaks uh, and uh, uh, metastable peaks uh, and metallurgy rearrangement retrodial salt rearrangement and so on and uh, how one can calculate the molecular formula from the molecular weight that is uh, obtained from the mass spectrum today just i will uh, give uh, uh, just uh, highlight the uh, various ionization techniques that is involved in the mass spectrometry so you know that uh, before entering into the mass analyzer the molecule must get ionized by the fast moving highly energetic electrons so depending upon the sample type depending upon the sample type on the mass spectrometer uh, meter available we are we are having the different types of uh, the ionization techniques different types of ionization techniques so to in the today's video lectures lecture i am going to discuss uh, five types of ionization techniques so they are the uh, electro electron impact ionization and chemical ionization number 3 fast atom bombardment technique number 4 the electron spray ionization technique and five the matrix matrix assisted laser deabsorption ionization technique okay so these are all uh, what is the technique ionization technique that is uh, i'm go- uh, one, uh, one, one, uh, going to use that depends upon the nature of the sample that is the volatility the molecular weight okay and the polar nature of the sample and uh, the uh, spectrometry the spectrometer that is going to use so let us go into the electron impact ionization so i have given the the diagram so we are having the uh, I, uh, the transfer line that uh, where the the mo- molecule enters okay molecule enters we are having the the tungsten filament where uh, the tungsten filament uh, that produces uh, the electrons uh, that produces electrons that produces electrons uh, because of the the uh, I, uh, the voltage and we are having the, the anode anode and the, the electrodes which uh, uh, produces a high potential high potential or with the range of 500 to 100 volts 500 to 100 volts across the source so they got uh, the electrons get got uh, accelerated to achieve the energy to ionize the sample very simple the electrons are produced and they are accelerated by using the the electrodes uh, which uh, give the potential across uh, across the source uh, in the range of 5 to 100 volt 5 to 100 volt and this will accelerate the uh, electrons to uh, ionize the sample and the second is a chemical ionization that is the ionization that is done by the the chemical compounds so this is brought out by mixing the chemical compound the sample which is uh, at the pressure of 10 to the power of minus 4 tor that is at the low pressure with the reactant gas at 1 tor which at as a high pressure so we are mixing the the uh, the sample with the uh, some reagent gas uh, uh, generally the methane or ammonia can be used okay this mixture now this is a mixture is a subjected to uh, electron bombardment electron bombardment so uh, generally as i already to, I told uh, this uh, gas is uh, the reagent gas is a methane uh, in some cases it may be a methane so on uh, electron impact methane ionizes as follow, follows so it forms a uh, the molecular ion the ch4 plus dot okay it uh, 
it just uh, bombard on the uh, neutral methane in form the uh, CH5 plus and the CH5 plus uh, bombard on the another neutral atom forming 2 C2H5 plus. So, in the ionic chamber uh, it has a mixture the bombardment takes place uh, uh, one by one and uh, then the CH plus plus and the C2H plus ions are allowed to react with the sample allowed to take with the sample it is all it is all taking place in the ionic chamber i am taking uh, ionic chamber and we are having the the magnetic one uh, magnetic uh, field also and uh, this uh, ch plus uh, ch5 plus and uh, c2h plus or uh, uh, ionize the uh, molecules molecules and they are uh, uh, as usual they are separated then it passes through into the mass spectrophotometer, a mass spectrometer, okay. And the third one is a fast atom bombardment technique, that is a FAS technique. It is a soft ionization uh, technique. It is well, well suited for the determination of the a polar and a thermally stable large molecules, okay. So, if the temperature is very high, if the if undergo fragments, uh, that molecule is not suitable for this uh, technique, uh, the ionization technique. Okay. Here, the samples are allowed to uh, are introduced into the mass spectrometry, uh, 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 spectrometry, which is dissolved in glycerol or any other uh, uh, non-volatile material. Okay. So, the uh, mixture of uh, the non-volatile material and the sample Okay, this is known as FAB matrix. So, this is introduced in the mass spectrometer. This is a probe here, and uh, we are having a uh, in the mass the, the first uh, uh, the mass spectrometer uh, me, uh, the spectrometer. Uh, it is in the high vacuum region, and uh, uh, in the uh, in the other side the xenon the xenon atom, the high energy xenon atom is produced, okay, produced uh, by the high electron, by electrical field, by electrical field, the uh, how the high energy electron, uh, the xenon radical, uh, the xenon cation is produced, uh, I given in the uh, video, video that just come and fall on the the FAB matrix and uh, makes the molecule to ionize, makes the molecule to ionize. So, the xenon uh, it is uh, uh, ionized uh, by applying the voltage of 4 to 10 kilo electron volt, not a simple electron volt, kilo electron volt at this high, high voltage the xenon head uh, gets ionized, okay, that uh, just, just come, okay, that's, uh, that just come and uh, uh, bombard on the, the probe uh, uh, which uh, uh, coated with the coated with the FAB matrix, the matrix contains uh, both the the uh, liquid non-volatile liquid and the sample. The sample get ionized, okay, and this will allow to enter into the mass spectro uh, mass spectrometer. And the fourth fourth one is the the electron spray ionization technique. So this is uh, useful uh, in the uh, HPLC instrument. That's a high performance. Uh, uh, liquid chromatography. So, we are having a, a small needle and uh, this, uh, ne this small needle we can call it is a nebulizer. So, the nebulizer is the one which uh, sprays the, uh, the liquid sample as a fine droplets, fine droplets, right, uh, right on the, it is like, it's like a, in a saloon where the people will spray the water, the water will spray as a fine droplets, uh, fine droplets like why uh, the nebulizer in the HPLC it's a small needle that sprays the, uh, uh, the sample with the fine droplets and we are having the ESI zone the electron spray ionization zone uh, where it, uh, it gets ionized where it gets ionized this technique involves application of sublin kilovolts ionizing charge across the nebulizer needle attached to the high performance liquid chromatography okay and uh, the uh, this is uh, uh, got dried by using the, the nitrogen gas and uh, it is focused to enter into the uh, mass spectrometer and uh, it, uh, it is analyzed and uh, 
you get the mass spectrum this is widely used on water soluble biomolecules like proteins peptides and carbohydrates and the fifth and the final one is a matrix assisted laser deabsorption ionization so that it's a multi technique the first uh, the deabsorption takes place and and then ionization takes place so for the first step is to find out the for, to for, to uh form the matrix so how the matrix formed the sample is co crystallized with the uh, the matrix compound the matrix compound generally is a 2,5 hydroxy benzoic acid or cinnabinic acid which is a derivative of cinnamic acid it's a alkaloid it is a alkaloid so first we have to prepare the matrix prepare the matrix which is a combination of a the matrix compound and the sample so this is a uh place on a uh, sample plate and uh, this uh, this sample plate uh, is exposed to the uh, a pulse uv laser pulse uv laser so we have the sample plate and we allow the uh, pulse laser to uh, to bombard on the, the matrix bombard on the matrix the matrix absorb the radiation and is vaporized not only the matrix vaporized the sample is also vaporized and flow along with the sample matrix now the matrix doubles up it doubles up that is in the the uh, the matrix increases its speed that is the kinetic energy of the uh, matrix is increases uh, uh, by two ways either by the proton uh, uh, as a proton acceptor or the proton donor uh by the same time it ionizes the sample it ionizes the sample this technique is a, a, a non destructively vaporizes and ionizes both all the molecules such as such as proteins peptides and oligonucleotides oligonucleotides or you follow my point so matrix matrix is for the first step the matrix is formed then it is all we are allowing the the a uh, yeah, pulse uv laser to fall on the matrix now the matrix gets off okay along with the sample uh, uh, during the traveling the matrix uh, the kinetic uh, the, uh, the kinetic energy of the energy the kinetic energy of the the speed of the matrix increases either by uh, as a proton acceptor or the proton donor and uh, it will transfer the energy to the Uh, molecules so that the molecule gets ionized so this is a matrix assisted laser desorption technique i given the the diagram and uh, how the uh, moldy technique is useful to ionize the samples like uh, proteins uh, peptides and uh, oligonucleotides so uh, this a uh, uh, small discussion on the the ionization technique that is uh, used uh, in the mass spectrometry and uh, various uh, other types of ionization technique is that i have given only the i techniques uh, i hope this will be useful for you for the examination point of view and understanding the uh, how the ionization takes place uh, uh, in the mass spectrometer and uh, i request you to subscribe the channel like the videos and share the videos so it will be helpful and encourage me uh, for to put the further videos uh, uh, for you to watch thank you thank you very much